hi everybody how are you guys so I'm making this video um, to talk about what am I I just came from the doctor y'all and um but it's not about the doctor it's actually about my hair that's what I wanted to talk about so um I recently discovered that I have high porosity hair um so I looked up some information about high porosity hair because I, I wanted to know what type of hair I had um so let me go back up again let me go back to it so with high porosity hair how to condition it um because I was wondering you know because the weather has been bad over here and uh so yeah now high porosity hair from what it says here high porosity hair does not receive the same attention as other hair characteristics come on an ad just popped up close it close okay like length or curl pattern but it is an essential part of truly understanding your texture porosity is your hair's ability to absorb and retain moistures moisture oils and chemicals like color low medium and high are different degrees of porosity due to damaging habits such as mechanical manipulation and color treatment many naturals deal with high porosity hair okay why porosity matters okay for high porosity hair which is what I'm dealing with the hair cuticle that is highly raised or even chipped and therefore quickly absorbs moisture the downside is that because it's raised and remains raised you can lose the moisture just as quickly as it was absorbed oftentimes this hair type is damaged from harsh chemicals dye or bleach high heat or harsh shampoos that strip the hair because the cuticles are aggressively raised the strands catch on to each other and become easily tangled so how you treat high porosity hair the reason that I have high porosity hair is because of my previous bleaching um you guys know I was a honey blonde for a little bit I had honey blonde locks and before that um I never colored my hair before so I never had this issue I noticed that I had some issues with maintaining and retaining moisture in my hair after I colored my hair after I bleached it so I did the test um, with the strand of hair in water and found out that I have high porosity hair so how you treat high porosity hair protein treatments deep conditioning sealing with butters and oils and using heavier products with natural oils um, and another thing apple cider vinegar and aloe vera so being that I found that out I looked up some information and I now have a new system for my hair so I wanted to share it with you guys who may also have high porosity hair or if you do not know that your hair is high porosity so um, you can do a water test to you know, take a strand of hair if it sinks I forgot already but um I will leave a link to how you can you know do that for yourself so since my hair is high porosity what I did I reevaluated everything that I was doing to my hair to basically give me moisture because I was having issues with moisture because of the weather here in Florida it's hot humid you know it does things to your hair and on top of that I was bleaching my hair and I recently bleached it but not all of it just certain pieces of my hair I recently bleached and um you guys know I tried I, I colored my hair purple I didn't like it and um I tried to bleach it again and it ended up turning 
teal, blue, greenish colors. I didn't like that, so I colored my hair with um, black hair dye again. And yeah, so since that whole debacle, I reevaluated some things that I've been doing with my hair. So one of which, my mother, when she was perming her hair, she used to use um, Africa's Vest. And they would come with these little packets of conditioner that she never used. One day, I wanted to try something new and I saw it was protein in it. So I used it and it was wonderful on my hair. And um, I ordered a big bottle of it instead of having the little packet. So it is called Africa's Best Rinse Out Leave-In Deep Conditioner. Protein Fortified. And protein is really good for high porosity hair. So that's why I was like, yeah, it, it was good on my hair. It was great on my hair, actually. And I never heard of it being use for locks but it's a very thin consistency so it's not thick let me show you look at it it is not thick you can literally rub it in like that and it is gone so yeah it's not a thick conditioner or anything so it's a plus and what else does it have in it I believe there's aloe in it. It's aloe in it. I forgot. Hold up. I saw that somewhere. Don't see it on here, but I think on the packet it mentions something about aloe. It had aloe vera juice in it. And um it was on the packet. I just can't see it on here now, but yeah so I was using this like the packet not this because I just got this um but I was using the packet and it's the same thing it's very thin it, it doesn't you know cake on my hair and stuff so yeah so I was using this and then I was using vegetable glycerin now vegetable glycerin is really good for softening your hair and I can very much prove it okay this stuff is bomb bomb on my locks these two right here my babies like I don't believe I can go on living my life with locks without these two things right here I'm so serious like they are permanent staple products in my in my whole hair thing and I don't even put that much stuff in my hair anymore so these two are my permanent things here that and my Jamaican black castor oil which I put on my edges and my jojoba oil and uh, I also use this the superfruit complex 10 in 1 renewal system I have just fell in love I fall in love with this stuff like it is awesome the shea moisture um, superfruit com complex stuff the shampoo the conditioner I love 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 the deep conditioner I use that all the time um I don't have one right now to show y'all but it's like a deep conditioner mask and it comes in a little round bottle thingy yeah um but it's really really good on my hair on my hair and I believe it's because my hair is high porosity which is why it, it was so good on my hair so I switched from that yucca one the brown bottle of um, Shea Moisture so now I use all of these products like for shampoo the conditioner and everything and I use the conditioner as well but I like when it gets down low and I can add water into it and uh, it's even better because it's a thinner consistency for my hair even though when I use it I use it with a lot of water anyway 
So it takes me a long time to use it up. Um, and I'll just, you know, do this and put it through my hair. And, uh, yeah, so I can make sure I don't have, like, build up and all that. So, yeah, when I'm putting this in my hair, I do it after I wash it. Or if I want to add moisture to it, I'll spray my hair with water, put it on there, and then put the vegetable glycerin on there. Um, I also use this. I didn't get a chance to do it on my daughter's hair, but I did it on my goddaughter's hair. And her hair was so freaking so It was like she had baby hair again. Because my best friend... She was stressed out <laughs> because of uh, her situation. You know, she's homeless right now. Um, but she actually moved to Mississippi with her family. So she was homeless and she was stressed out and she was trying to do my goddaughter's hair to get her ready for school. She wasn't paying attention and she took my cream developer and conditioned her daughter's hair with it. And pretty much she died my grand my, my not my granddaughter Jesus oh knock on wood <laughs> she dyed my goddaughter's hair um a honey color and uh yeah she I was like I can't believe you would do something like why wasn't you paying attention she was like I was stressed I was hurrying up I thought it was um, she thought it was conditioner. She didn't read the whole thing because she saw cream developer and she didn't know what it was because she's not into hair products and stuff like that. So she didn't know and she basically colored my goddaughter's hair and I had to fix it. So I basically did a deep condition treatment. Um, then I put some vegetable glycerin within that treatment with shea but I use shea butter coconut oil um what else did I use what else did I use I use that raw apothecary shea butter by the way which is really really good really high quality shea butter I use that with um ah with uh this the conditioner, cocoa butter, and that's it with the vegetable glycerin. And her hair came out so freaking baby. So it was like she grew a whole new head of hair. Like it, it was so freaking soft, like crazy soft. So I had to fix what my best friend did to her daughter's hair. It was so messed up. Like her hair is colored now. It's colored so she's like it's not gonna like fade I said no you bleached her you bleached the child's hair it's not gonna fade so yeah uh, so I had to fix her hair with you know my stuff that I know and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it I just wanted to share with you guys you know my my whole hair thing what I've been doing my routine has changed a lot I don't use a lot of products um anyway I don't use a lot of products I just use shea moisture stuff and this stuff here and that's it um this is fairly new to my my thing but basically the entire base of products that I use is this 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 which is oil put that down my jojoba oil and my conditioner and my shampoo that's that's it and these are light products anyway so it's not leaving any buildup in my hair because it's a very light product which I really really love so I highly highly recommend this to you guys with locks if you want to use it if you have straight hair it's good too because it comes in the the perm packs so that's how I discovered it comes in the perm packs and my mom she doesn't use it so I was like let me get this up off you here so yeah it it's awesome it, it's really good I'm glad that I tried it for my hair and 
is is awesome i highly 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 recommend it and if you want to buy it and they don't have it in your store go online go on ebay and research it i'll leave a link to it where i bought it from i bought it off ebay because my store did not have it my my beauty supply they didn't have it so i had to order mine but i will leave a link below i'll leave a link below for y'all because i'm gonna help y'all out because i love y'all okay so that's pretty much it and again if you have not checked it out i have a gaming channel so you guys should really 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 check it out and support me come on sheesh i mean i got a, a good amount of subscribers already but i would really really like if you guys would you know check it out because i love gaming that's my life that's that's what i do i relieve a lot of stress with gaming and yeah so check it out i will leave a link to my gaming channel below as well um what else is there that's pretty much it oh i'm getting a tattoo i'm getting a tattoo um pretty soon i already made i made an appointment and uh i paid the guy half of what what it is so yeah when i get it i'll show y'all it's uh it's gonna be over here on my arm and uh yeah that's it that's, that's everything oh uh, i'm about to record my what's on my android too so y'all look out for that because i'm probably gonna record it with maybe in an hour maybe now i don't know i'm gonna record it soon though um so yeah anyway that's it. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.